and nothing's gonna get stunned because we have Unstoppable on all shielded enemies. Frenzy time might be a threat, but Sailor just clutches as she does. Cause oh my god, the Ewiz has like one HP. No way. No way the e -way, the Ewiz is alive. No way. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are top 10 because we made the mistake of falling asleep. So uh we're gonna try to catch up we're gonna keep pushing we're using the same deck it's the grand warden shark bait deck you guys know the drill you guys saw the last video all right we are hopping into game number one here against a countess now luckily for us this deck is designed to counter the countess so we're gonna go with the good old decision of just putting down our giant so he stacks up health from round one so he's got a dagger gob down with just a countess and no upgrade on her which is interesting but he's Still gonna take this, but that's totally fine with us. Um, once you get that giant down, you're not really, you're, you're not gonna win the first round, but we're playing the long game here. I'm confident with a villager down. Ooh, we get our warden early. That's what I like to see. We're gonna sell our dark prince. We don't need him right now. And I'm also just gonna go down with a sailor and we're just gonna ready up with that. Ooh, okay. He's got a nice magic archer lineup. I probably should have moved my warden a bit, but <laughs> that's okay. That, that's actually such a good magic archer placement on his part. We might have to move our warden, but I think we're still taking this round regardless just because the shield damage is so much. So instead, I'm going to put a shark bait front tile and move our warden just over here, actually. Keep our sailor up front. So that's so our sea synergy is going to activate, and you're going to see that our sailor is going to in, instantly move out of the way because that's just what the sailor do. Whoa. Alright, so he fully invested into the Magic Archer, just instant 3-star. I'm not sure if that was the wisest decision for him, just because, see, he's not getting the same lineup as he was last round. So I think he overcommitted to that. Honestly, I'm gonna go with an upgrade on the Sailor. I'm gonna 3-star three, three her, and just honestly ready up. Oh, he's, he's quick with the with the readying up, eh? Oh, okay, so he's bowl He's gonna go with a Bowler on my Grand Warden. That's a good, that's a good call for this round, but that's where our Dark Prince kind of comes into play here. Um, Dark Prince kind of just spoils that for him, and then the Shark Bay just brought his magic card. Are, are, is there even going to be another round? No, there's not. That's just GG's right there. Wow, okay. Okay, that's game number one. This world champion is going to be either Toast or a threat to us. So, we're going to start with the Giant. We're going to change it up a bit and put him a little bit off to the right there. Um, he puts his Giant down as well. So Giant's like a good counter to Warden, but that's where Sailor kind of comes in and just boop. Uh, but he does take this, which is fine with us. Or she. Could be here or she. I don't want to keep saying he. Keep, eh. keep saying he. But, um, okay. So for this round, I'm going to put down a Villager, or Sailor. Pretty much mimic last round, kind of. Maybe put down Shark Bait in case we don't get our Warden upgrade. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go with the shark bait down. World champion still hits our giant, so I'm just gonna go with the shark bait. All right, so he goes with a witch and a world champion upgrade. So he's going with boast, the classic boast. Um, I don't think that's the best option just because we're not running witch. So I'm not sure how much, how many kills he's planning to get here, but we just hook his world champion just like that, and this should be an easy round number two. I'm going to upgrade our sailor. And then, once again, maybe, I'm going to see if we can get our Warden. We do, in fact, get our Warden. What do we want, though? Do we want Rage? Do we want Rage? Nah, we want Shield Break. Because that's Shark Bait. Villager Frontile. That's an interesting play, I'm not going to lie. I would have protected my Villager a bit better, but that's okay. Um... Our villager end up, ends up going down like anyway, like right after his, but or hers. But um, our our sailor is just mopping things up here. But ooh, frenzy time might be a threat, but sailor just clutches as she does. We might just have to three star our little sailor here because three, sailor is just so good. Like I love the sailor. We just want her attacking the fastest, being the tankiest, and just being the carry of the match as she has been right so far. So. We have a royal champ in the back, we got to upgrade, oh she upgraded, or he upgraded, or he or she upgraded their witch. So I'm worried about the sailor, but that's also 
maybe not the worst because Sailor just gets infinite boast. So she's actually going to be just destroying here. Oh my goodness. Look at the damage on the world champ. Just deleting her. And then just, look at that, mopping up all the skellies. Boom, look at that. Oh, so satisfying. What a satisfying win. All right, so for game number one here, we have a Grand Warden, an opposing Grand Warden. Okay, so we got to play this right. Um, so I've learned facing other Wardens that if you upgrade your Giant in the last few rounds, it's going to be the most beneficial move. But it seems like he's running a different version of the Grand Warden deck. So, oh, I said good luck. I just realized that. I, I, I just like, I saw it, but like, I like forgot to wish it back. And then I remembered it again. <laughs> um, so, we're just going to take out his Lumberjack here, and then now our Giant's on his Warden. And I think this will give us round number one here, and it will, obviously. But he does get an Elixir Synergy from this, so that is okay with me. Um, so, you see, we're just whittling down his Warden here, and Warden's down, and that is round number one. And I'm going to place down our Sailor. Just like last game. And then I'm going to put down our shark bait. And let's hope we get our warden here, actually. Oh, we do get our warden. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go with the rage and unstoppable. Because that is the best upgrade against other wardens. The shield break doesn't really matter much. Because, look, he's running warden mages. And that's just not going to... It's just not going to be the, be the cut for this, for this round, you know? I'm just not going to lie. The shield break doesn't do much against Warden, but Unstoppable does because we're just immune to his E Wiz now when he puts her when he puts his E Wiz down. So that is honestly really the main reason here. He might he's gonna take this though. Okay, I'm gonna put down a slap down a villager. Dark Prince does not serve a purpose right now. Villager, a oh, villager sailor. Sorry, wrong girl. And maybe we do do. Maybe we do put down a Dark Prince for now. You know what? I'm going to do that. Definitely could have put the Dark Prince in a better spot. But I'm really only interested in the Dark Prince tanking the Wizard's Fireball. Just like it just happened right there. So now Sailor's going to start stacking her supers. Which is what we want. And nothing's going to get stunned. Because we have Unstoppable on all shielded enemies. And our Warden just goes absolutely crazy here. Stacking shields. Ensuring that nothing gets stunned. I'm going to put down our Shark Bait. What does he have? Rage and Unstoppable. Okay, that's fine. I just want to see Synergy, honestly. I'm going to put down our Shark Bait. Just right up here. So he sells the Fuser, replaces it. Blocks the Dark Prince. That's a good move on his part. But will it be enough? Personally, I don't know if it will. But we'll see, right? So, Sailor is kind of going off here, but all of our minis are kind of have kind of been destroyed in front of our eyes. So, that's not going to be the best. So, I think we will have to come back here. But that is fine with us. I'm not worried about that. We, on top of that, I'm actually going to move our Warden over here. We roll. Okay, there we go. Three-star Sailor. That's what we like to see. We just need the Giant to tank for us the most, to the max right now. So... We have our Sailor, hopefully locks onto the Warden, and it does, but now also locks onto the e -Wiz, takes out the e -Wiz pretty much here. Oh my god, the e -Wiz has like 1 HP, no way. No way the e, e is alive, no way. Whoa, that was a crazy loss, that was a good game though, wow, that was a great game. Honestly, that was an amazing game. Dude, I'm not paying 500 bucks for this. Like, this is not worth 500 bucks. This isn't even worth 40. Like, in my opinion, sorry. Like, not, not, I'm not dissing, I'm not dissing designers here. I'm just saying, like, for a cosmetic in a game, like, Fortnite gives you so much for, like, 20 bucks. You know? That's all I'm saying. I'm just like, make it a little more worth it. You'll, I feel like you'll get more sales that way. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a business person. Thank you guys so much for watching today. It has been a pleasure making this video. Uh, this deck is so broken, unless, like, you know, some things beat it, but I think I honestly could have been better in some cases there in the game, but honestly, overall, it's a really good deck, and, uh, yeah, we, we got this, you know, you, you, you guys got this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.